What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. It's your host with the most time with Double Crouching Time Boy TV Boy TV Boy TV and welcome back to another hold or sell now video. Now I know I haven't done them for the past two weeks, I want to say two yeah, two weeks, just about two weeks because they were kind of bad weeks and a lot of people haven't asked me to redo them, so I was like, alright, I'll just get back into it because they weren't getting like uh, that many people weren't watching them, and I thought a lot of people didn't actually want them. But after getting a few DMs, I was like, "All right, bet I'll do it for those select few people," because this week was a very big week. So I figured also a lot of people would want to see what went down because it's box logo, those bags, we got hammocks, we got low key sleepers, we got a bunch of stuff to go over. Now I'm gonna rush through this because I do have to catch a train to go to the city in literally 24 minutes exactly from right now and i don't think it'll be happening i might just end up missing the train for this video but it is what it is so i do want to run through some of the stuff but before i start you guys know i do got to talk about this giveaway now this giveaway is entirely for free all you got to do look look at this look at this shit right here bread toes who's giving away a pair of bread toes as the main prize a pair of bread force as a second prize and as a third prize we got 50 dollars cash so all you got to do to enter this giveaway First of all, you gotta follow my boy at Harlem Reseller. Then follow me at Thomas Virgo. Then uh, tag three friends in the original post on my page at Hype NJ. You gotta tag three friends on that post. All right, the original one, not the second one. That's about to be up today. The original one. And after you do that, then if you guys want a second entry, all you gotta do is send me a screenshot. Of you subscribe to this channel right down here, but send it to Hype NJ. No other page, just Hype NJ, and put in the message giveaway. In total, that takes you about under a minute. That takes you less than a minute to get a chance to win either these which is going for 450 bread toast which are going for about like 220 or $50 cash that's a lot of money to be given out and that's of course for my 10,000 subscriber giveaway it's about a one it's about halfway done exactly to today yeah because today is Saturday it'll be over in exactly one week uh, so I do gotta get that more posted on the page but yeah that's about it and if you guys want that free discord as well which I'm not gonna talk about much in this video because I do want to get into it but if you guys know what it is you guys know what to do then go ahead and send me that screenshot but as you know this week we did have week 9 SS19 we did have the box logos we did have the bags the bags are actually doing well so that's actually what i'll talk about right now currently right now the bags are ranging from a few different prices but they're typically selling for around 60 dollars right now i did manage to get a red one online and of course bags i told you guys utility bags always end up doing well especially if they're 40 dollars of course someone's going to pay over for that not much of course but you're still going to make a little bit of money i mean if you're going in store mainly you're making a lot of better and if you got the woodland camo ones you're making a good amount of money and that's actually what i'm going in the store for today as well i'm going for the bait marvel drop the supreme drop the fear of gods so a lot of stuff is going down i'm about to miss this train i hope not but you never know what's going to go down so we do got the utility patch as i said the camo one uh going for around 70 dollars the rest are going for 60 of course if you guys pay attention to my retail resale estimations video you guys would have known the woodland camo was the best i didn't even listen to my own advice i went for red but you know i didn't really even go for money i kind of just liked the piece as it, as its own and maybe even a personal cop not entirely sure i saw the quality in store in my in-store video so if you haven't seen that make sure you check it out it was a crazy ass cook we saw like a billion box not nah, not a billion but we saw a few i i, I said we saw about like 25 box logos all different colors and sizes uh but next time i do want to talk about the box logo so in my retail sales estimations video i gotta say it one more time i did end up saying that the uh the the teas were going to be going for around 1250 and that's exactly what they're going for right now so if we head over to, you know, I take a lot of these prices from a mix of Instagram, Grail, and of course StockX, but StockX, you guys must be careful of the undercutting. Do not be swamped into this, 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 this thing of just undercutting. Just don't do it. There's no need to do it. You don't have to just hold your price and only sell. Uh, unfortunately, though, the red tea is doing the worst out of them, too. I think if we go over, it, yeah, the red is doing the worst. I mean, that was one of the, that was the last tea to actually sell it in store as well. I mean, you're still making profit, though. Like, that's crazy money anyways, especially if you're, what, they're going for around $1,000 right now. Uh, the white one's going for around $1,250, and the black one's going for around $1,100. So they went down a little bit, and once more online orders do come in, I expect them to go down slightly. But once again, I do expect these to stay around the $1,000 mark. They're not going to go down drastically, and this is one of the greatest hold items you could possibly do especially in the long-term future of supreme and in the future of it in general because first of all 25th anniversary box logo this is swarovski they've never done like this type of box logo ever like a three I mean, they've done like a 3d box logo, like a pop-up one but this is like different they've never done diamond crystals and this is 25th anniversary imagine what happens on the 30th anniversary imagine how what numbers these are going to be doing they're going to go on a thousand on top and what's crazy is the market in china i was talking to a few people over there on drop day if you guys saw Market in China is even 
crazier than the one in the U.S. I know hoodies are going for like 3200 right now. You just got to get out there and somehow manage to get a reshipper and sell it for you and get market price. So it's kind of difficult to do. You do got to get a plug out there. But that's how it is over there. And it's just, it's crazy if you are able to sell. But then we go on to the hoodies. The Heather Gray one is doing crazy numbers. The highest I saw was XL's going for $2,500, which is wild. $2,500 for a hoodie, a bedazzled hoodie. Uh, and my take on this is I do like the t-shirts a lot more than the hoodies right now. I do like them. I don't know why. Just I thought the hoodies would be better because the way it looks. But honestly, the way it looks on a t-shirt is just so much better. It doesn't look that. It doesn't pop out too much. It's just especially on the black on black. It's nice little subtle flex. It is not that subtle though because it's Swarovski crystals. But then again, it is just a nice little flex to have. But as I said, the hoodie, the gray one, I there was like that was top. I want to say top. 50 got i some people said by 23 it was sold out but some people said by 40 it was also if the supreme poise liked you or not whether they did want to give it to you but essentially top 50 was the only people that got it in store and that was that goes for the gray one only the rest of them were probably in stock till 12 45 and online they went like that literally for me it wouldn't even load you guys can see the live cop it was it was a hell of a time Uh, but the hoodies, I do expect to go up as well. We can see the black ones going for about uh, 1500 1600 just around there. And of course, it's better to sell through Instagram, of course, because you pay a lot less fees because fees is a big issue for this drop because they, they're making bank. All these resale sites are making hella, hella money in the hoodie. The black hoodie is going for around 1500 right now. So I said in my range, 15 to 2000 Uh Yeah, so I'll definitely try to sell through Instagram mainly because A, if you do go through PayPal invoice, you're only going to take 3%. If you go through StockX, they're going to take 11 to 12% depending on where you are. eBay is 11% as well. I'm trying to think though. Grailed is around 10% as well. So they're making a lot, a lot of money off you. That's like $150 plus dollars minimum of what people are going to take. But if you go through PayPal, they're only going to take about three percent which is what 30 they'll probably take about 50 bucks 50 bucks compared to you'll make an extra hundred dollars just going through paypal invoice and it really is not all you gotta do is really just find a buyer through instagram that's the best way to do it and you guys have a bunch of other places you guys can do but then we go on to the bags i want to talk about the tote bags they're not doing crazy numbers uh the camo one though is actually doing not that good either i mean retail on these was 148 plus shipping plus tax made 160 uh they're going for 180 you're not making that much money after fees and everything and none of the black one wasn't worth it the red one or the blue one that's just how it was the tote bags were a little bit of a higher retail therefore they weren't that wanted but the utility bags were pretty wanted because of the cheap retail that everyone knew they could just get a six supreme bag for not a lot of money because forty dollars is probably the lowest i want to say lowest retail bag i've seen supreme drop in a very long time but of course another crazy accessory i do want to talk about is the hammocks now as i said the camo colorway was the best i was going to try to get one online First of all, I kind of forgot about it. And second of all, I wasn't just that into it as I thought I would be. But they were retailed for $188 plus shipping plus tax made about $200. Depending if Supreme charge you tax. Because for me, they're only charging tax here and there and sometimes only on accessories. So that's interesting to see. They're going for around $260. After shipping and fees, you're going to make around, what, <clears throat> $25 ish. So, not bad at all. I mean, money is money, and you still got to get a cool Supreme piece in hand. But other colorways are not doing that well at all. We got both the red and black one for around $225. Yeah, you're probably making like five bucks. Or get your money up, not so funny up. You're losing money on that depending how much tax you have to pay because i know california has one of the highest tax rates out there you're probably losing a lot of money and the rest of it you're just making a few extra bucks but camo one you're still making a decent amount of money what i hold or sell now these hammocks i would hold them right now value is it's gonna go down for like 210 250 like remember what happened with the director's chairs though you gotta be careful about, about that but this is a little different accessory not as hyped and it's a little higher retail, but did not it did sell out a lot, lot slower. So if I had a piece, I'd honestly hold it. I see a lot of Supreme accessories going up. But if you guys do want that quick capital influx, if you guys want to get more capital to get for future weeks, I don't think just sell now. It's better off to just sell now and get that profit in so you could use that towards more money and more items. And honestly, that's about it. I'm going to talk about because any other items that you did cop are best to sell now. Uh, there really is no other piece. Oh, the knife. I'll go into the knife for a little bit. That thing's going around 65. Retail was 54. You're not making that much money. You're losing money. You're losing a lot of money, actually, if you did end up going on online. But if you're going in store, you do make that extra money that you wouldn't normally pay for shipping and tax. If I think New York, yeah, you'd have to pay tax on accessories, but you're making that extra money that you would have to pay on tax and shipping. You're just making that money back to yourself. So nothing great either. Knives don't do well. I would just sell now ish if you want to hold it for a little bit longer you can but it's not really worth it in the future and then other than that though i think that's about it but you all have you all seen the cupid tees 
the QPTs are going up like crazy. That's just a little thing I want to talk about. Great item to hold, as I said in my retail resale estimations video. That was the item to hold. And that's about all I'm going to talk about. So, hope you guys enjoyed this Hold Your Sell Now video. Make sure you stay cooking. Good luck. Make sure you stay tuned for my in store videos tonight, today. I'll be uploading them tomorrow, hopefully. And of course, enter that giveaway. Thank you guys so much for watching. Peace.